It all started with graphics, and not just any graphics. NVIDIA was born as a company dedicated to making video games look better. For years, its graphics cards, the famous GPS, were a dream for gamers and developers alike. But what no one imagined was that those same cards, designed to render virtual worlds in real time, would eventually become the engine behind the most advanced artificial intelligence on the planet. And yes, today saying NVIDIA is almost synonymous with AI, but this transformation wasn't an accident. It's a story shaped by technological vision, key strategic decisions, and a deep understanding of how the digital world works. In this video, we'll explore how NVIDIA went from being just a gaming company to becoming the essential chip provider for artificial intelligence around the world. From its CUDA architecture to its full ecosystem of hardware, software, and partnerships, NVIDIA doesn't just make processors, it builds the infrastructure where the future is being trained. NVIDIA was founded in 1993, back when computer graphics was still a field of experimentation. Its first big leap was in the gaming market, but their technical vision went further. GPUs weren't just good for games. Their parallel architecture allowed them to run thousands of processes at the same time, exactly what's needed to train AI models. This point is key to understanding what came next. In the 2000s, while other companies focused on faster CPUs, NVIDIA bet on a different architecture, massive parallelism. And that's how, in 2006, they launched CUDA, a programming environment that let GPUs be used not just for graphics, but also for scientific calculations, simulations, and eventually neural networks. That was the real revolution, turning a graphics card into a computing platform, a move that fits perfectly with what's known as platform leadership, a theory that explains how some companies dominate by building not just products, but entire ecosystems. And that's exactly what NVIDIA did. Behind NVIDIA's meteoric rise is one unmistakable face, Jensen Huang. Born in Taiwan and raised in the US, this electrical engineer founded NVIDIA in 1993 along with Chris Malakowski and Curtis Prim. But beyond the bio, what defines Huang is his long-term vision. While other executives chased quick wins in consumer markets, Wang focused on building a flexible architecture for the future of parallel computing. In multiple interviews, he's admitted that for years they felt ahead of their time. But his conviction never wavered. He pushed for CUDA when few understood it. He pushed for GPUs in data centers when they were still seen as gamer gear. And he built an entire ecosystem long before A, I became a buzzword. Even his public persona reflects a strong brand, always in a black leather jacket explaining complex tech with clarity and passion. Jensen Huang doesn't just lead NVIDIA, he embodies it. And that's turned the company into more than just a chip maker. It's now a symbol of visionary leadership in tech. Instead of just selling chips, NVIDIA built tools, libraries, drivers, developer kits, and most importantly, a community. Just as Microsoft became the standard with Windows and Apple with its App Store, NVIDIA turned its GPUs into the standard for training machine learning models. The scientific community and major tech companies found in CUDA a stable and powerful environment. Companies like Google, Amazon, Meta or Tesla don't just buy GPUs, they build their entire data centers on NVIDIA's architecture. And with the rise of deep learning, that was like finding oil in your backyard. This is where another important theory comes in, path dependence. The early decisions NVIDIA made, betting on CUDA and focusing on parallel computing, set a path of cumulative growth. Each new chip generation built on the previous ecosystem. Each tool attracted more developers. Each partnership boosted its market presence. Increasing returns, the logic where the winner keeps winning, became inevitable. In the last decade, NVIDIA made it clear it didn't want to rely solely on the gaming market, so it fully entered the world of data centers. Its chips began to power large-scale AI model training, from image recognition to machine translation, autonomous vehicles to genetic prediction. Then came the generative AI boom. Models like ChatGPT or MidJourney have one thing in common. They were trained on infrastructure that heavily depends on NVIDIA GPUs. We're no longer just talking about games or scientific computers. 
computing. We're talking about language, creativity, design, biology, security, and finance. NVIDIA understood it couldn't just sell chips. So it developed libraries like TensorT, platforms like DGX, and full systems like CUDNN, all of it integrating hardware and software into a single package, maximizing performance and controlling the entire value chain. Financially, NVIDIA's story is simply dazzling. For years, it was seen as a valuable but niche company. But as AI became Silicon Valley's magic word, its market valuation soared. In 2023, NVIDIA became the first semiconductor company to surpass $1 trillion in market capitalization. And it didn't stop there. In 2024 and 2025, growth continued strong thanks to rising demand for AI chips, data centers, and autonomous vehicles. At times, it even ranked as the third most valuable company in the world, just behind Apple and Microsoft. This phenomenon isn't just about products, it's because NVIDIA has become the financial proxy for the entire AI revolution. When investors want to bet on AI's future, they don't always go for experimental startups. They go for NVIDIA because they know that whatever model the future brings, it will probably be trained on their chips. The company has also been very effective in reporting strong quarterly earnings with rising margins, which has built trust with analysts and institutional investors. Its stock has been one of the best performers over the past five years, making it a star in both tech and finance headlines. But like all stock market darlings, it faces risks, regulatory shifts, demand drops, tougher competition, or even tech saturation. Still, the market sees one thing clearly. As long as AI remains the big promise of the 21st century, Nvidia will be its most profitable face. What makes Nvidia truly unique today isn't just its technical ability, it's its ecosystem vision. It doesn't compete only on performance, but on integration, from chips for data centers to software for physical simulations, from autonomous vehicle systems to medical AI tools, Nvidia is present in nearly every vertical where AI is applied. And that doesn't happen with just good products. It happens with a strategy where each part reinforces the other. Chips that work best with their own software. Software that only runs on their hardware. Partners that build on their platform. Clients that rely on their full stack. That's the true power of a platform company. Today, when we talk about the heart of modern artificial intelligence, we're not talking about a single app or a single company using it. We're talking about the base that makes it all possible. And in that sense, NVIDIA is more than a supplier. It's the invisible infrastructure powering a revolution. Its story shows how technical decisions, when paired with strategic vision, can reshape entire industries. How a chip designed for video games ended up at the center of global artificial intelligence. And if the future depends on models that are bigger, faster, and smarter, then NVIDIA will still be there, not just as another player, but as the platform where it all happens. If you enjoyed this journey through the world of NVIDIA, subscribe to the channel for more stories about innovation, startups, and technology. Give it a like if you learned something new, and tell us in the comments what other success story you'd like us to cover. Maybe AMD, Intel, or a startup shaking up the status quo. Thanks for watching until the end. See you in the next video. Goodbye.